welcome back everyone so today i've got something a little bit different than usual i have been provided an airbrush to try out so i'm gonna show you see if this is you know really good entry level airbrush or if it's one of those overpriced entry level airbrushes so what i've got is the ak airbrush point three so um, my assumption with that, I don't know if it says anywhere on here, but I'm guessing it's a 0.3 nozzle, is what they mean by 0.3. So it says it's first style robust, adjustable screw, perfect needle nozzle combination for final detailing and spraying. So imagine that. So let's see what's inside here. with the airbrush pretty good quality kind of looks of it pretty good similar to some of the other designs that are more the basic design that I've seen basic reservoir type and then it does have the adjustment for um, locking out how much paint flow you have so that works really well in conjunction with the smaller needle let's take a look at that take this completely apart because it's one of my favorite things to do okay it's a pretty basic needle I think that's probably gonna be uh, one thing that I'll have to look at is try to see replacement parts on this at least from what I've seen so far it looks like they're, they're fairly standard and so you can get a lot of replacements from basic stuff I've got a basic like master brand it seems that are fairly interchangeable. Okay. Yeah, pretty easy. Standard cap. Just for kicks, let's take off that here. Okay, a little different design than some, but seems fairly standard okay so it's pretty typical I might try to follow up uh, see if there's uh, if these parts are interchangeable with some of my other stuff but first let's put this back together show you what else is in the box See how it performs. Okay, just as easy as that. So beyond our Oh, okay, so this is to clean out the nozzle, but I'd probably rather use some of the other things because this might actually do some damage to it. It's kind of a cool little tool. You got something really caked in there maybe, but I prefer using some of the, like, the paper points and dental stuff to clean. Okay, so I've got a different cap instead of that. Not sure if that'll do much of a difference and then of course your parts nothing on there to say where to get them That'd be interesting okay put all this back in see how she went all right for this test i've got my ak real color 036 is going to come in handy with the next project that i'm going to be working on okay so first let's try some detail still i need to back it down just want this air valve on this it lets in a lot of air maybe i need to just clean mine still still 
way too much power. Not enough. Looks like it's pretty good for if you want to do uh, just kind of going over some panel lines, maybe just good enough definition for this box. Doing some pre shading type stuff. Uh, might be able to fine tune airflow. So it's, got, it's uh, not too bad for getting into some of the detail stuff. And of course, this is the first time I'm using this airbrush, so it will be a little bit of a learning curve compared to what I'm used to. So let's take a look. Still got to kind of work on the mix a little bit. It's not foolproof. Got to work on that. But if I want to just do some regular work. So for that, works really good. So I don't know if I would call it my airbrush for doing fine detail. But be able to just lay on a standard coat so for that not bad Maybe now that it's had some stuff running through it, you can get a little better with. It. So I could probably get there a little bit with some fine lines, but it's not as good as something. Obviously, it's for twice the money, but can handle those better. But when it comes down to just your regular work, it's pretty well. Um, I was worried about 0.3, just not really um, being good. I might put some primer through this and see what primer looks like, but for standard work, it's, it's doing good. If we had somebody better at airbrushing, they'd probably be able to do the detail fine lines better than I could. Okay, so I'm going to use up all the paint in the cup and get this all cleaned up and then... We're going to see if the parts are interchangeable with some of the other stuff because I've got 
a similar design that just might completely be interchangeable and then be really easy and cheap for replacement parts. All right, so there's my finished product. Still got a little bit of drying to happen, but it's a pretty nice paint job, if I do say so myself. Now for the final test with this, I wanna see if just these basic cheap um, Chinese parts here are interchangeable. So let's see if a 0.5 nozzle I can't even remember where I got this thing, but. Okay, first thing works, it threads. And these thread as well. <laughs> so far, it's looking good. I'll take a little bit of cover from this. Now, does it paint? You can work on the paint mix, but it comes out. It's gonna be not, obviously we're not gonna be able to get fine necessarily with a 0.5, but uh, actually pretty decent when you put it real close. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now I have to do a little bit of research and figure out. I'll put in the description what I find out about the uh, what kind of warranty you have with uh, AK. It seems like they would stand by behind their product. And I think that's probably more of what you're paying for is their warranty. Being able to, you know, get those replacements and, and stuff from them when things go bad. But if you're in a pinch and you found on Amazon some parts or something, they look pretty universal. So that is pretty cool. I was worried that this would be something that it's just... Not standard, you have to get it all the way from Spain to get the those, but you have options. So I'm gonna clean this puppy up and go from there. But um, as far as for a just basic brush, not necessarily s detail work is, eh, you know, obviously a $150 brush is gonna do better when you have the detail work. But as far as just a regular utility, regular all around kind of brush, does quite well and so in the price point probably one of the better brushes because obviously if I was comparing this to a $150 brush it wouldn't really be as much of a competition but if we're comparing it to the Iwata Neo or some of the uh, other stuff in this price point they're right up there and I was expecting this to be probably overpriced but no it actually works quite well so until next time